I'm Jerry Michalek and I'd like to introduce you to the Michalek Revolver Grip. Show you a couple of the key features here that separates it from everything else out there in the market. It has a filler behind the trigger guard. It's rounded. It's relatively narrow. There's no filler on the back strap. It's relieved for speed loading. It's a one-piece design. It's available for K-frame, L-frame, and N-frame in both square and round butt. So any current Smith & Wesson or even an older gun, you can retrofit these stocks on it. So let's go ahead and do some installations and show you how it's done. I've taken off the factory stocks. I get calls periodically about people wanting to order grips, but they don't really know if they have a square or round butt grip. So I have both of them here. These are both K-frame. This one is rounded. You see the back side of the grip here? The frame is rounded. And of course, the square butt comes to a sharp point. So it's apparent once you take the factory stocks off. So if you have any doubt, just pull the original stocks off and it's going to be easy to tell what you, what you need. So let's go ahead and set this round butt off to the side and go ahead and, and install the uh, Mitchell X square butt K-frame grip. The grip is held on by a stirrup and a screw. It's a mono grip. It means it's one piece. So what I try to do is, I've got the factory stocks off. And it's very critical that this roll pin is in the center of the frame. If it's not, you're going to have to tap it one way or the other to get it perfectly centered in the frame. So I've got the original stocks off. I've got the square butt grip. I'm going to leave this hanger or the stirrup off. I'm going to do a test drive to make sure it fits without the uh, attachment screw and fixture. you notice inside the grip there's a channel that the roll pin travels in. You want to match that up and just take your time and give it a test run and make sure it mats up really good without the attachment screw. So it's fitting all the way up on the back strap here. A good fit. So we know the grip fits the gun. Let's go ahead and pull them off. Take the stirrup. You can just walk it in one side at a time. Flip it over. Attach it. Take the screw off. Go ahead, the same thing here, this hanger fits in the channel machined inside of the grip. Go ahead and put it on and you notice it fits the same so it's uh, properly installed. Go ahead and put your attachment screw. What you want to realize, uh, this is a piece of wood. Just put enough torque there to, uh, to hold it properly. After you've been out on the range for a while, you can tighten it up. And it'll take a set and pretty much that's the installation that easy as you can see the installation of the grip is relatively easy and they're available at michelec.com